Hey Cynical Militia, Professor Cynical back again with another No Man's Sky video. Now in today's video guys, we are going to be learning about the history of the Gex. That's right guys. Now, me myself, of course, I am a Gek. And whilst I am absolutely proud of what my race has now become in the vast universe. However, however, I'm not so proud to look at its darker more gruesome history but with this being a history of the gex video i've put a little something together that hopefully will explain in the best way that i know how that shows the lineage of the gex enjoy when the universe was still young gex ruled every single star planet and system in the known universe every star you're seeing on screen right now was once owned by Gex. Now located at the center of the first galaxy Euclid was Balerion, the Gex home world. However, it was a very, very dark place indeed. Countless trillions of Corvex prisoners would be beaten and hasted through these tunnels that were barely on the surface to be smelted down for precious nanites. Once in the machines, they was transported to the furnaces. However, on the way, they was unfortunately dismembered limb by limb. The conveyor-like structures would not stop for thousands of years. Once the Corvex was dismembered down to more manageable pieces, they was then thrown into the eternal fire. For thousands of years, these flames burned, smelting down countless Corvex to make the nanites that you hold today. However, if a body was not completely pure, the entire batch would be discarded down special channels next to the smelter. These scraps, if you will, were then later sold for units. With unimaginable wealth, power and slaves. The early Gex decided to build monuments, many that can still be found in space today, showing the glory of the Gex and to show off as a warning to anybody who dares to oppose them. Now, as we know guys, the story doesn't end there because here we are today talking about the history of the Gex. Now, what happened to all that power, wealth, slaves? Well, the short answer to that is Sentinels. Reports started coming in of a new danger and a new threat to the galaxy. Whispered of a new robotic species called Aerions. They infected every single solar system like a plague, turning once glorious planets into nothing but dust. Now, after the Gex of the past went to war with what we now call the Sentinels, this conflict would last for eons. And the Gex, well, they were pushed to the brink of extinction when the last line of defense of the Gex home world collapsed. This is now what Balerion looks like today. The Gex who survived that final battle would go on to give offspring on new worlds and explore new galaxies. However, they was issued a stark warning by the Sentinels that basically said, if you return back to your previous ways, you will be completely eradicated as a species. The Gex, for once in their life, listened, and they took note of what the Sentinels had to say. The remaining Gek elders implored that new Gek species would have to be created to be nothing more than a shadow of their former selves. And thus, the Gex that you see today are now nothing but humble travelers and merchants. How about that guys? Now, if you all enjoyed today's video, I worked so hard on it. And if you could do me a massive favor, leave a like on it. And also don't forget to subscribe. I am trying to get up to 50,000 subscribers for Christmas Day. It's a wee challenge I've set to myself and it would be an amazing milestone for this wonderful community. So anyway, guys, as always, my name is Professor Cynical and I'll catch you all again in the next one. Bye for now. Thank you every single one of you for watching today's video. Now do me a favor, smash that like button if you enjoyed it. If you are new around here, subscribe to the channel. I release videos like this all the time. If you're feeling extra generous today, you can go ahead and head over to my Patreon page. Link in the video description. 
anything that gets contributed to the channel guys goes back into the channel it's a massive help so if you do decide to go down that route today i want to say a massive thank you also if you have some extra time today don't forget check out some more videos i'll have some popped up here on the right hand side for your viewing pleasure right anyways i'm off to go and hunt some australians and eat some crayola